हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थियरी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थियरी टू मिथेन मॉलिक्यूल Let's study the application of molecular orbital theory to methane. Methane is a pentaatomic tetrahedral molecule. This can be imagined with the help of a cube, where alternate corners of a cube are occupied by the corners of a tetrahedron. In methane molecule, hydrogen atoms are at the corner of tetrahedron, and carbon atom is situated at the center of the tetrahedron. The central atom carbon has electronic configuration. 1s2 2s2 2p2 whereas hydrogen has 1s1 in case of methane molecule we have to consider all the valence orbitals of the carbon atom that is 2s 2px 2py and 2pz the next step is the linear combination of atomic orbitals that is the formation of group orbitals for this we will consider hydrogen atom there are total four hydrogen atoms with 1s orbitals containing one electron each these four orbitals will overlap with each other as four are combining four will be formed therefore the group orbitals are psi1 psi2 psi3 and psi4 psi1 is formed by the addition of 1s orbitals of all the hydrogen atoms these orbitals can be represented like this where hydrogen atoms are at the alternate corners of a tetrahedron Psi2 is formed by 1s plus 1s minus 1s minus 1s. These hydrogen atoms are arranged like this. Psi3 is formed by 1s minus 1s minus 1s plus 1s, and these hydrogen atoms are arranged in this fashion. Finally, Psi4 is formed by Psi1s minus Psi1s minus Psi1s minus Psi1s, and these hydrogen atoms are arranged in this fashion. Finally, Psi4 is formed by 1s minus 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 1s now these four group orbitals will combine with atomic orbitals of the central atom by saclcs method that is symmetry adopted linear combinations for the formation of molecular orbitals here we will consider the combination of atomic orbitals of the central carbon with group orbitals the central carbon atom consists of 2s orbital which combines with psi1 2pz orbital which combines with psi2 2px which combines with psi3 and 2py which combines with psi4 let's understand this combination by writing the scheme where 2s combines with psi1 to form two molecular orbitals as two are combining two will be formed one will be bonding other will be anti bonding the bonding orbital sigma s is formed by psi 2s plus group orbital psi1 and anti bonding molecular orbital that is sigma s star is formed by psi 2s minus psi 1 group orbital the next combination is psi 2pz and psi 2 to form one bonding orbital sigma z psi 2pz plus psi 2 group orbital and another is sigma z star anti bonding molecular orbital that is psi 2pz minus psi 2 group orbital the third combination is psi 2px plus psi 3 to form sigma x bonding molecular orbital formed by the combination of psi 2px plus psi 3 and anti bonding molecular orbital sigma x star psi 2px minus psi 3 group orbital the last combination is psi 2py and psi 4 group orbital to form sigma y formed by the combination of psi 2py plus psi 4 and sigma star y formed by psi 2py minus psi 4 This is how four atomic orbitals of central carbon atom combines with four group orbitals so total eight are combining out of which four are bonding and four are anti bonding let's construct the molecular orbital diagram here we will consider the electronic configuration for carbon and hydrogen on the left hand side we will consider atomic orbitals of carbon on the right hand side we will consider group orbitals of four hydrogen atoms at the center there are molecular orbitals of methane at the left hand side we will draw the energy bar 
there are four atomic orbitals of central carbon atom that is 2s orbital 2pz 2px and 2py similarly there are four group orbitals of four hydrogen atoms psi1 psi2 psi3 psi4 as we have studied earlier now if you see the symmetry of atomic orbitals of carbon and group orbitals we can easily identify that 2s orbital will combine with psi1 to form sigma s bonding and sigma star s anti bonding similarly 2pz orbital of central carbon combines with psi2 2px combines with psi3 and 2py combines with psi4 to form three bonding molecular orbitals sigma z sigma x and sigma y and three anti bonding molecular orbitals sigma star z sigma star x and sigma star y there are total eight electrons that is four valence electrons of carbon and four electrons of four hydrogen atoms these are occupied in all the bonding molecular orbitals according to afbau principle and hans rule pay attention to the symmetry of atomic orbitals of carbon and that of group orbitals this according to the symmetry will overlap in this fashion according to molecular orbital diagram we can easily understand that sigma s orbital is having lower energy whereas sigma z sigma x and sigma y have same energy this is confirmed by photoelectron spectrum of methane molecule where we get two peaks out of which one is assigned to sigma x and the other is assigned to sigma z sigma x and sigma y that indicates electrons in the sigma z sigma x and sigma y have same energy from the mot diagram we can write the molecular electronic configuration as sigma s square sigma z square sigma x square and sigma y square as there are no unpaired electrons it is a diamagnetic molecule if you like my video click on like do share and subscribe my channel if you want to mention something or ask something mention it in the comment box also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry thank you